Shalom and welcome to another episode of Lessons from a Kitchen. I've been taking you for the last two days of certain lessons that I have learned through my daily routine in my kitchen. Now, salads are a sought after thing in my house, especially if it is a sprout salad. Now, making a salad takes preparation, especially if it is a sprout salad. So, you need to choose your your beans you need to soak it and you need to keep it to sprout for a couple of days rinsing it so it gets you healthy sprouts and this is a delight to eat but through this something that amazes me is the way that these dry seeds they are viable seeds although they seem inactive at this point of time but when it is put in the right conditions, it produces something beautiful. Similarly, this, this reminds me, when I look at this, when I, when I look at the way that these seeds come into sprouts, it reminds me about what God says in His Word, which I'd like to read. In Mark 4, 26 and 27, He said, The kingdom of God is as if a man should scatter seed on the ground and should sleep by night and rise by day and the seed should sprout and grow. He himself does not know how. So here scripture says that when the farmer sows his seed, he does not know how it sprouts into this. The fact that the sprouting of a seed is a mystery. The, the, as soon as the, the seed gets into water, it absorbs the water and the food that is stored up is used to, to develop these sprouts. And this doesn't require any kind of a human intervention. This happens all, of, all on its own. It's one of God's mysterious ways. The seed is likened in the Bible as the Word of God. So when the Word of God is sowed into our hearts, it does something. It comes to life. It begins to sprout. It begins to um, bring about a harvest of righteousness. Now, this is not something that we do or there is any kind of an intervention that we see happening, but it is the way God's Word, God's mysterious Word works within our lives. So as I see this process going, it, it makes me more and more dear to want to spend time with God's Word to know that through something I'm not able to see with my eyes or understand with my mind, there is going to be a fruitful harvest. So today, when you go back and, and spend time with God, remember every word that you sow into your heart from God's Word will reap a harvest. Every word that you take in and you speak and you confess will bring about sprouting, will bring about a fruit. So I want to encourage you, just like you enjoy a good sprout salad, know that you can enjoy the sprouting of God's word in your life. And as you, as you uh, keep growing in Him, um, begin to love and enjoy His Word. Another principle also that we see is that when we are looking for the spiritual growth of maybe somebody else, knowing that God has His way, has His timing, and all we may need to do is to present God's Word to them. But we can be sure that in God's timing, in God's way, it will also bear fruit in their lives. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word that is sown into our lives. May our lives, may our hearts be conducive for the word of God to grow, to develop and to nourish us. May it be something that brings about a harvest of righteousness. Thank you for these little truths that you remind us even in our daily walk with you. We give you thanks and worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. 
For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.